are off camping. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. <laughs> we are trying camping. I've been mentioning it for a while on the channel that I wanted to try it again. And we are trying it again. Oakley is not coming with us because we don't know if I'm going to be okay. Never mind if our lovely doggy is going to be okay. Who is very, very excitable. I'm scared, never mind Oakley. So we're going just me and Jack. We are very, very fortunate that Jack's family is heavily involved with the scouts. Like, like, his dad's the group scout leader, his mom's the beaver leader. So, heavily involved. So we've nicked stuff from them, so we don't have to buy a tent. <laughs> I don't mean nicked, we're giving it back, we've done this before. We have tried camping once before. Jack's obviously been camping loads before because he was brought up in the scouts. But I was not a camping gal, I was not raised a camping gal. I was raised a static caravan gal. That's the holidays that I did. Jack did camping holidays. Jack did a bit of both, but still. He's gonna be more prepped than me. Yeah. Hey, yeah, put your head in. <laughs> I'm feeling nervous because I've, we've done it once before, didn't really go that well. We did it, God, how many years ago? Probably six, seven years, or six years ago. Six years ago, and I was not good at it at all. But we're gonna give it a go again. The only reason that I wanna give it a go again is because I want to be outdoors more. We both wanna be outdoors more. I've discussed this before. We both wanna be a very like indoor, outdoor kind of, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, nature. yeah, connected in nature, connected with the outside and Camping is the only cheap way that I can see us doing this. Obviously, there's the van conversion possibility, stuff like that, but that's gonna cost like 50 grand. Camping costs us 20, so we're gonna try camping. <laughs> and like I say, we're very fortunate that we can borrow camping stuff until we decide if we want to buy our own. We'll see how this goes though. We're just going for one night. We're going Northumberland, so if I want to come home, we can. I don't think I'm gonna though, because it's only one night, so it should be fine. Mainly scared about sleeping because I'm not sleeping well at the minute anyway and then I don't seem to sleep well in non-beds, not non-beds, what's the, like glamping, camping situations? Just non, non-houses. Non like, oh, kind of, you know. <laughs> yeah, when we go to the Y, we've gone to the lakes to the YHA for the past few years and we've done camping pods or what they're called? I think so. Right. Land, and I, pod. land pod. And I have not slept well in them. So we're gonna see how it goes. It could go terrible, it could go great. This could be the start of our new thing. I don't know if that's gonna happen. But currently we're gonna go sort the car because we need to get everything in the car and the car is a mess. I am not gonna show little clips of it because I am trying not to show where we live better. I'm trying to be internet safe, guys. I'm using my middle school training of being like, don't put anything on the internet. I put everything else on the internet. I'm gonna try and keep where I live in my front street a little bit private. So, let's go clean the car and I'll catch up with you in a bit. We are off, we've got a full packed car. Yep. Jack likes to um, clean the house thoroughly before we go don't you? I mean we needed to. Yeah but Jack doesn't like leaving for a trip anything unless the house is clean so he's been doing the dishes he's put the washing in the dishwashing dish dishwashing oh I didn't put it on go back to it. <laughs> he spent ages loading up the dishwasher oh it's just gonna get worse when we're away <laughs> He's put the, he's took the bins out, he's done everything. So he's tidied the house and we're off. It's 20 past two, which might be late for some people, but for us, this is really, really good. It's, we're doing well. We are staying at somewhere near Colbridge. So that's like an hour away from us, but we are hungry. We haven't had any lunch. So I think we're gonna stop somewhere for lunch. We haven't decided where yet, but we're on our way. It is raining, uh, like spitty rain here, but Jack says, it's not in Hexham, so hopefully it won't be raining when we have to put the tent up. Jack said I don't have to help at all, but I feel like I need to help put stuff up, but he, he's adamant he's gonna put the tent up. I wanna make it quicker, so hopefully, if I help, it goes up quicker, but we have an hour to go. I'm, I'm trying not to think about it. The thing that I'm most worried about is sleeping, because it's just being outside the rest, like the other time, and also the toilet. I'm not great with public toilets, just in general. Oh, he's in the cupboard under the stairs, I don't know what he's doing. But hopefully it'll be fine. It'll, it'll be all good. We have lunch, we've just decided to go for a meal deal because we can't figure out anywhere that would be en route. So we've picked up 
lunch and then some snacks. We got, where are the snacks? I'm sure you don't care about the meal deal, so I'm just gonna show you the snacks. We have Crunchy Rocks, OG. We're gonna try the gold munchies. The white, the white munchies were so freaking good. I'm so sad they weren't a permanent thing. So we're gonna try the gold ones. And then we've also got Ritz crackers because they're just delicious. So this is gonna keep us going on the one hour journey and also tonight. And then we're just gonna go get food, I think, later. I don't know what we're doing yet. But I'm so frustrated Hello to my loneliness I guess that ignorance is bliss We are here, it's a cute little site We were, so is this the premium? This, this, is, this is the premium up here Oh right, okay I think it's just a bit more secluded Right Because it's, it's, it's quite nice isn't it? Because like one thing we were worried about was it just being a big field Yeah That they just chuck tents next to each other But this is It's like on layers It's like multi-level it's, so it's like got little like little alcoves and stuff like yeah. that Yeah It's really nice They've put us in a bit of a different place to where they originally had us Because apparently the other pitch was surrounded by families And obviously we do not have children and it was quite nice because we don't really want to be around children yeah. so i'm really glad that they did that we've pulled up and it's pretty we're just gonna um put the tent up there's a rabbit right where the tent's gonna go though i don't want to disturb it so yeah let's put it let's put a tent up Poles are missing for the tent. <laughs> so we laid it all out. We started doing one of the poles, and there's meant to be seven poles, and we have two. <laughs> so we've rang Jack's dad because obviously he does the tents. He knows the tents. Like he helped, he got us the tent, and he's like, <laughs> "No, there's meant to be seven, <laughs> seven poles." <laughs> and we've only got two, and we've just drove an hour to get here with a tent that we can't use. <laughs> I'm laughing because otherwise I'll get upset <laughs> and it's about to pour like it's it's about to pour so Jack's dad is gonna come but Jack's dad lives even further north in Northumberland than we do and um, so it's probably gonna be about an hour and a half two hours <laughs> and he was in the bath Um <laughs> can't believe this has happened we don't know what we're gonna do now so Jack's just packing the tent away because he's we think his dad's gonna bring like a full new tent with new poles we might just be car camping <laughs> we're in light spirits so we're trying to make fun of it the campsite's beautiful let me turn you around can you see beautiful so we drove up there um and this is the other and then we've got someone right next to it but it's starting to rain so Jack's just packing his hand, tent away then we're gonna I'm gonna go wee and then we'll figure out what we want to do. <laughs> we brought my cosy chair and uh, Jack's been trying to put it up for 10 minutes. <laughs> How's it going? Okay. <laughs> he came up with a really good system of putting little labels on. Yeah, so we're all... So we knew and he was still struggling with it. Honestly, this chair, we cannot take it down because of when it's down, we can't figure out how to put it back up again. It's a nightmare. We've heard from Jack's dad and he is on his way. It's going to be like an hour. Uh, he's been to the scout hut and he thinks he's found the poles for the tent but he's going to bring a spare tent just in case but it's going to be like an hour so I don't, I don't know what we're going to do but look at the hang on let's turn you around can we all see the weather the rain that's coming so we'll see if we actually can put the tent up because of how rainy it is he's done it yay <laughs>
So finally. <laughs> We are finally in. Jack's dad stayed and helped me put it up and then we've just done the inside ourselves. We Jack is currently putting up fairy lights because that was one thing I wanted. This is the bedroom in there. We have just brought our duvet and stuff for now and we haven't ended up putting the other bedroom up. We wanted to bring it because we wanted to see what it would be like when we if we come back and when we bring Oakley and stuff, we know what it's like to set up the other bedroom because he'd probably be in there. But we're, a bit, we're on a hill so the tent is like completely warped so it won't fit so we're just gonna not leave it up so it's just out with the grass and then this is the view out of it it's got the bug sheet up but yeah really cute we still need to eat and stuff like that but we're getting there we are out for food we've actually found a pub that was literally five minutes down the road which is absolutely buzzing because we thought it was in the middle of nowhere so We've got, we've got pub food and it looks really, really cute inside. We decided pub food was probably going to be better because it is pouring. We are back. I was trying to show you how dark it is, but the camera is being, trying to be clever. <laughs> it looks, look how light are, it looks on. I think the side lights are on as well. No, I know, but like, look how light it looks out there. Yeah. It is not that bright whatsoever. This is that. Yeah, that's going to show me. Never mind. <laughs> that's how dark it is. It's, um, it's pretty dark. <laughs> I'm gonna try and vlog some more. Uh, Jack's got his leg up because he's changing a bandage on a uh, fraction bit. Friction burn. I'm feeling a little bit more nervous. The night time. Oh! Oh my god! Sorry, his friction burn is worse than we thought. Hang on. <laughs> he's all good. I'm we all just, good. <laughs> we just we think we weren't changing the bandage enough because it's a bit oozy. Anyway. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little bit more apprehensive now that it's dark because I've always had a bit of a weird thing with the dark I've always been a little bit scared so this is the part that I'm a bit nervous for but it's gonna be fine yeah. it's gonna be okay yeah it's gonna be okay we had a the meal was nice wasn't it that it was. pub's lovely and yeah. it's so close and it had a charger yeah which is just great we only really got like three miles but uh, yeah it didn't work but they have I think one. that was more on us than the charger I think the charger works all right right the food was okay. Uh, I think we just we had like one of the worst options, didn't we? We had a chicken burger. <laughs> but they they were they're a brewery, craft brewery, yeah. craft brewery as well. So they had like a, a little gift shop and and the brewery, and then Jack had a little tasting beer, beer thing. Third. So it, it was it was weird food selection though, wasn't it? Because it was like there's loads of flies in here. Yeah, the food options were weird because there was a pizzeria that served till nine. There was like burgers and stuff. Meat. But then there was also like, yeah, like like fan, like that table across from us had like a leg of lamb and stuff like that. That was and lamb shank. Yeah, yeah, it was just mm -hmm. weird selection. It looked all nice though. Yeah, it did. It looked really nice. And it was a nice vibe. And yeah, it was it was really, really nice and really, really handy for how close it was. We also, I'm just going to take you out of it because it's making my face like super bright because it's trying to focus on you. Yeah, okay. We also passed into the campsite on the way in, yeah. which we didn't know was around here. And that was that one was like right on the, on road. the road, more like just a field. And, and it looked way quiet, but it, that was a different vibe, wasn't it? Compared to this one. Yeah. But we were just saying, we find it quite hard to find campsites. Like Jack was saying, I'll let you, you this is your Yeah, thing. we just couldn't really find them that well. And um, like I looked everywhere like on like Google and Google Maps and like different articles and stuff like that. Even like dedicated like apps for camping and stuff like that. We just, we just couldn't find many. I don't know if it's because we were looking last minute. Like we yeah. were looking oh, within yeah, the week. Yeah, yeah. It might have been easier to find, but like there wasn't even like suggestions of that one yeah. anywhere. It's mm -hmm. just like it's a good campsite or it's yeah. even there to be honest. If anybody has any suggestions of like how to find good campsites, please let us know. But we're going to head in. I'm scared. You'll be all right. Yeah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. What's the point of this? What? The tear yeah. thing. Oh my god, the camera is doing such a good job in low light situations. It is not this bright. It's actually, I can see better on the camera than I can in real life. We're well, having some chocolate. Yeah. These are the fairy lights. It looks very bright because we've got this lamp looking, but they're going to go all around, which is really cute. Oh, we need to put the windows back up. I could honestly, I'm using the camera at sea. <laughs> but this is Jack Sunny's chair. Oh, yeah. Do you want to show me? <laughs> Haven't decided what we're doing yet. We could, we've got options with the iPads. So we could watch something. We've got playing cards. We might not be able to see that well. Yeah. Uh, we've got we're books. <laughs> so <laughs> we're going to chill for a bit. We're not going to bed yet, are we? It's right. 10 past 10. So this is still early for us. We'll figure yeah. out what to do. Yeah. But 
we've already been discussing what we would want in our tent if we bought a tent. <laughs> so I've got everything crossed that I'm going to sleep because I like it so far. I like it. Yeah. We are about to go to bed. We've came in the bedroom. We can see the lights outside. It's not that bright. <laughs> Like I said, the camera's making it seem way brighter than what it is, yeah. but you can see the fairy lights up there and we've brought some of them in here, which I'm very happy about. We've brought all of our stuff in the bedroom with it because the porch bit, yeah. the main area, isn't like completely sealed, so obviously things could get in and we don't want things getting into our clothes or our shoes and stuff, so we've brought them in here. We've got a main light, which you can tell is on me, and we've got our books. But we're gonna go get in the bed. We're gonna watch New Girl, and then maybe read the books. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if you, I'm hoping you can hear. It is raining, um, so I've got everything crossed that I'm gonna have a good night's sleep, and that it's not gonna affect me too much. I'm hoping that the white noise is gonna send me straight to sleep. Mm. I did not sleep well. <laughs> Can you hear the wind? The weather has not been good. <laughs> I am, I'm still in bed. Jack has gone down to shower. It is half eight. Sorry, my mum was just texting me saying if you liked camping in that weather, you'll love it when it's sunny. <laughs> um, it's half eight. I didn't get to sleep till about four. Um, which if you're a subscriber, you'll know. That's not a lot of sleep for me. <laughs> but I feel okay. I think because I know I'm like, I'm not just at home. And I've tried going back to sleep, but in this wind. It's not happening. Um, it was just the rain. It rained so hard all night. I was actually really comfy and cozy. I, I was saying to Jack, like, because Jack woke up at like half three, so I asked if he would go to the toilet with me. Um, and also, my air mattress completely deflated, so I was on the floor. So I had to wake Jack up to be like, what am I going to do? because I am so uncomfortable, but we cannot put that pump on at three in the morning because it's so freaking loud. So we were trying to brainstorm that. But I was saying to Jack, I'm, I, f I feel really good about just camping in general now though. Like I felt really cozy, like especially with our duvet and the pillows and stuff. I definitely, I don't know if I want an air mattress, but anyway, I feel really cozy with camping and I was fine with the wind. It was just the rain. I like my autism doesn't like repetitive noises so that so the rain is just like a no-go I can't even have like a um, clock in my room never mind rain so didn't go great but never mind I felt cozy I felt comfortable but it was just no sleep oh and the fire lights worked really well they didn't die till like three which was really good so really worked really well really, it was like a really nice amount of light as well it wasn't too bright and it wasn't too dark so the fairy lights worked really well we've got all the stuff still in here um and i don't think we flooded which is amazing for how much it rained i am about bed jack's just putting the yawning up we had to um end up moving the car because our car is it has keyless entry and it has the thing of when it thinks you're close, it turns the lights on and it kept doing it last night. And the car was facing somebody else's tent, so it kept lighting up their tent, so we had to move the car as far away from us as possible. So the car is right over there, <laughs> but it's not in the way, so it's all good. We are heading back to the campsite now. We have been at Starbucks and had breakfast and Jack got a coffee and we ended up actually running into somebody that I know from the gym and chatted about the gym for a little while which was really nice. Jack got to meet her because she trains at the same time as me so Jack doesn't know who I'm talking about when I say I've been talking to her at the gym so it was really nice. Really nice Starbucks. Now we're on the way back. We have to be out by half 11. It is half 10 now so hopefully we have enough time to get the tent down. Jack says it will be but I'm just a little bit anxious about it so we're going to head back 
get everything in the car and then we're actually going to head to Team Valley because we're going to go look at tents. <laughs> we don't think we're going to buy one, but we're just going to go whilst we're like fresh in what we want. Now we kind of have had experience in the tent that we stayed in last night. Yeah. We then can know what kind of thing we want. Yeah, so if we decide we want one, we know which one we want to get. Or which type. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So, but we may as well, we're dog free. May as well pop there. Look at how windy it is. Can you see the tent? Oh God, look at how much it's flowing around. There's a tent, I'll show you it. There's no one outside, so I don't feel too weird about showing it on the video. But look at this one. <laughs> Secure, this is an inflatable one, but there's loads and loads of, um, I don't know what they're called, like the, the lines. Uh, holding it down as well, but it is so secure. And then look at ours. <laughs> it's so windy. It's half windy. <laughs> I don't know if I mentioned it on the vlog earlier. I can't remember if I did, but we found out that it actually was a storm last night. It was Storm Betty. So we camped at probably the worst time that we could have. I was gonna say I'm proud of myself, but I did not sleep, so maybe I have nothing to be proud of. But hey, I, I, I enjoyed it apart from the not sleeping. the car because we were running low on my oh it's charging quite quickly actually yeah. we've came to Hexham which was about 20 minute drive from the campsite yeah here about yeah and we're in a waitrose car park I was just saying to Jack I don't think I've ever been inside a waitrose dude what are you doing what is he doing mm. playing with the charger does do they realize that there's people in here <laughs> That was so bizarre. A man just came up with a whole load of children and just picked up a charger and then put the charger back and then walked away. It's so weird. You see some weird things when you're in an electric car. Yeah. We are just going to sit here until we've got enough charge to get to Team Valley because it's, well, another weird electric car thing. It told us it had 35 miles when we left the campsite. We've drove 20 minutes and... Uh... We have 35 miles back here. <laughs> So I, we didn't think we had enough miles, but apparently we did. But anyway, we're charging for a bit. So, should we talk about the experience? Yeah. What do you think? What did you? Th how did? What? You go. I think it went well, considering all that, like all the things that happened, like the kind of storm and the rain and the wind and stuff like that. Um, I suppose it's part of the storm. Mhm. Mm <laughs> it went well. I think we could have slept better. But uh, yeah. It was a nice experience. The thing is, right, Jack's not the issue. Is that Eden? Is that Eden? Did you see it? Yeah. Jack's not the issue. I'm the issue. Jack's been camping his entire life. This is the third time I've went camping. So... You... you yeah, you've never went camping without me? No. 
No. Why would I? I <laughs> we were not camping family. Mm. I've definitely feel like I have changed my opinion on the camping experience because it used to be like I was like absolutely not camping is not my vibe. Yeah. Not a, I, like I don't understand it. I don't want to be there. But I actually think I've changed now. And that's just the only issue is the sleeping. I felt really cozy. I think making it suited to you. If you're a subscriber, you'll be sick of me saying this because I say this about everything, like morning routines, everything. But making it suit you rather than just doing what everybody else does is the key to it. Whereas I think when I've thought about camping in the past and when we went at camping in the past, we've done it like what people do where we've took sleeping bags and we've had like. I don't know, like the little camp stove and mm. we've went hiking and I, I don't know. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Whereas yeah. we took our duvet, we took our pillows, we were comfy. We haven't done anything we, we didn't want to do. Fairy lights, yeah. yeah. I need electricity, so we took a, a massive power bank from Jack's dad. Jack also brought a car battery for if we wanted electricity. And I feel like within the camping community, some people are a bit snobby with electricity and stuff. Yeah. I don't care. I'm gonna do whatever it takes for me to enjoy that experience. And electricity makes me enjoy it more. But it was just really nice. Like I said at the beginning, the point of this was to connect with the outside more. And I do feel like we had that. Obviously, we camped through a storm. So we were probably more in touch with the outdoors than we wanted to be. But we were saying this this morning where we woke up and we were just outside. And that, that was lovely. And I felt like so much more... We were up early as well. Yeah, I was just about to say, I felt so much more awake. Because I have a real issue with getting up at home. Where I struggle just to wake up. Like I'll go back to sleep all the time because I feel like I'm absolutely knackered. I woke up at 8 and I was like, yeah, I'm awake. Mm -hmm. And I didn't, obviously I've had terrible sleep. I don't feel that bad. Whereas if I had that bad sleep at home, I would feel knackered now. Like I'd feel yeah. awful. Whereas... I don't, I don't feel that bad like because we've been outside and it's, it's been sure. yeah. yeah and it's felt productive putting the tent down that was easier than I thought it was going to be putting the tent up and down mm -hmm. I thought that was going to be a nightmare for how big that tent was but and, and how windy it was today yeah <laughs> it was actually all right you did the bits that I didn't want to do which is the like again it goes back to don't do the things you don't want to do and you were happy with that mm -hmm. I'm not forcing them to yeah. do that so yeah, I think it's been a good experience, but I just can't. I don't know what to do about the sleeping situation. I felt better about the air mattress this time when we had two single air mattresses. Yeah. Felt tons better about that. Just because like when we when we sat next to each other on one of them and we were sorting out like things and it was just, just up and down everywhere. and yeah. I don't know how people sleep on double air mattresses. I felt better about having the duvet. It's just the noise. I don't know what mm. to do because if it rains, I am. Yeah. Effed. I can't swear on. Well, YouTube. we're saying that because you've got your your loops, don't you? Yeah. We're saying they they could have helped if we remembered to take them out of the car. Mm -hmm. By this point as well, it was like four a.m., wasn't it? And we're just like, yeah, yeah we're not going out of the car and it's pouring. Pouring, out. Yeah. yeah. But I don't even know because my loops are the hard ones. I don't yeah. know if that would work. I could look at maybe getting the small, well, you've the got, silicon loops. You've got um some. You've got some earbuds. <laughs> you got earbuds from when you They've were They've got plane. a little bit of hard bit on. Right, yeah, uh -huh. you can get soft loops, but I think they don't cancel out the noise as much. Right. And it did. I put the duvet over my head with my face peeking out, and that helped a little bit. Right. But I get sleep anxiety anyway. Yeah. So I don't know if there's anything we can do apart from just push through. My ideal would be sleeping tablets, but apparently they yeah. make you feel like rubbish. Or for just not to rain and be windy. I don't know though, because I, I don't even know. If I, because you know what I'm like with my sleep anxiety. I might just have not slept even if it hadn't rained. Yeah, we maybe. don't know. Yeah. Definitely want to try it again when it's not going to rain. We didn't think it was going to rain this time. No, it wasn't meant to rain until Monday. Uh, it was just the weather yeah. changed. Yeah. And the storm came. Anyway, yeah, I think that's where we'll leave it. I want to try it again without it raining. I don't know whether I'm ready to buy our own tent yet. I don't know if yeah. I've decided that enough. We have said we don't think, we don't know how we're going to do this with Oakley. We think, you look so attractive. Thank you. We think he would have really, really struggled last night because we think the rain and the wind would have made him bark at it. And then we don't know what we would have done if we'd have had to have him in with us, which we think will completely F us up long term. We think that'll make his separation anxiety like re relapse. Regress. Regress. So, 
not entirely sure about Oakley. I don't think we'll be able to take him. We might have to even talk to a trainer to figure out what we're going to do with Oakley. Do it, yeah. Because we just don't want his separation anxiety to regress. Yeah. We want him to be in his crate, but we don't want him <coughs> barking at everything. Because there was a guy as well, the people over, over the tent, they had a great night's sleep because I heard him snoring the entire night. He was fast asleep, he was fine. I feel like Oakley would have barked at his snoring. Yeah. So I don't know. And um, it might be all right, because obviously, obviously people do camp with dogs and there was- Yeah, there was, there was loads a, of people there. was a few there. there as well, yeah. So it's, it's obviously possible, we just don't know how to do it. No. I think you'd be all right in a van. Oh, 100%. Um, because it's enclosed, it's it's you in can you own Yeah, your and own he space. likes being in the car. Yeah. Yeah. We're still gonna go look at tents. Not ready to buy one yet. But we're still gonna go have a look. Unless there's a really, really good deal on them. Maybe. Maybe. I will have to hold Jack back. Yeah. Jack is very impulsive. I mean, well, I mean we, we're both impulsive. If we walk in and say, Oh yeah, we'll, we'll give you one for like thirty quid <laughs> Reduced from like three grand to thirty quid. We're like, yeah. Yeah, I have fair enough, but that, that's not gonna happen. Anyway, we'll catch up with you when we get to go outdoors. God, I was vlogging. We've looked at the ones that have like set up over there. There wasn't any really good ones in Decathlon. The one blue. <laughs> not in Decathlon. Yeah. The one in Decathlon is a lovely colour, but it's not tall enough. Which Jack is wants. Don't you? You want it to be tall enough? Yeah, I want to be able to stand up in it. Yeah, whereas all the ones here are blue, and we don't want a blue one. We're being petty. The one I wanted to look at was this, wasn't it? Wasn't it like this? We... Yeah, that's a bell. Oh, it's a bell tent. But it looks like a, bell, like a nice bell tent. Oh, I don't want a bell tent. This oh. one's the Burkhouse one. Of nice. the, I think it, that one looks exactly the same as the one that we saw. Yeah. Yeah, well, it probably but is. a nice colour. I don't know it's a note though, but... It's got like a thingy net and stuff like that. And... Yeah, I just don't like the idea of it all being open. Mm. Typical. That one that I like is thirteen hundred. We've just seen one for like three hundred quid. That's not a bad colour though. Yeah. Yeah. But is that one also expensive? Probably. When we came the other week, we found one that we really liked and we can't find it this time. Hmm. Don't really like any of them though. No. I was gonna say which one's your favourite. I'm not, I'm not keen on the, the inflatable ones, I don't think. No? Because we haven't tried it, and like that one last night, you'd be pumping it up constantly. Yeah, but then they haven't touched, they hadn't touched it today when it was really, really windy. Yeah. Green one seemed all right. Yeah, that one was really cheap, but, but it, yeah. it doesn't have, right, so hang on, let's go over and I'll show you. So this one's only 170, and there's absolutely a ton of room. Go stand in for reference. Loads of room, the bedroom's huge, but no mesh on the door which will make a difference because we had the mesh down the entire time. It's all sealed at the bottom, isn't Yeah, it? it is all sealed. And no awning as well. Yeah. Built in. But the bedroom is absolutely massive. The mesh that side as well, so if you want it to be proper waterproof, that's going to have to go be down. Oh, that right, side's okay. Plastic. Oh, right. Yeah, I get you. I think it's probably just because it's a cheaper. Cheaper tent, cheaper. yeah. You like this one? I think so. Yeah, because the bedroom was big, wasn't it? Yeah. And, oh, and it had this nice little awning bit yeah. attached to it. And it is inflatable, but it's like, I can easily stand up and put my tippy toes as well. Yeah. And the bedroom was an alright size once you pitched it back, wasn't it? Yeah, it's the light one. Light one. Yeah, uh, so it blacks out the rooms a bit more. Because that, that one looks like it has mesh as well. The door. Yeah, because this is more I like mean, an awning because it's open at the front, front and then inside it's all yeah. watertight. And it has a side door as it's well. Got on the side doors, as well, like side doors yeah. Yeah. All oh, right. Okay. So yeah, there was that one, which is four hundred. Oh, someone's in the tent just on their phone. Um. <laughs> we couldn't get into that last tent because people were literally just sitting in the tent on their phone. <laughs> so that's all for the content for go outdoors. I apologise. We are obviously back home. It's a few days later. We just took pictures of all of the tents names of the ones that we were interested in and we're going to look online and have a look if they've got any pictures. We found out that there's a bigger go outdoors up in Berwick as well that put out like a load more tents so we're probably going to go up there but we're not buying a tent yet until we try it again. But that's going to be it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did please make sure to leave a like, a comment and subscribe if you are new. Did you have a good time my love? I did. Good. I hope you've enjoyed watching it and I shall hopefully see you in another video. Bye. Bye.